Well, the Aces continue to get national recognition following last week's win at number one Kentucky. Evansville received 43 votes in this week's AP Top 25 poll, coming in at 30th in the nation. That means it's not out of the realm of possibility for Evansville to actually be ranked next week if the team can stay perfect this week. But it will be tough because Walter McCarty's team will play four games in the next seven days. It all gets started tonight at home against a very tough SMU team here in the first half. This is Jawan Newton, the guard, the drive, and a little teardrop off the glass. It's good. Evansville on top, 11 to 9. Then DeAndre Williams, the big man, knocks down the three. SMU, though, up by five at 22 17. Here comes Sam Cunliffe, the pull up jumper. Evansville will be down by four at the break. Second half. Evansville gets going. This is John Hall spotting it up, knocking it down. His three is good. And the Aces take the lead at 47-44. Then Noah Frederick King, the drive, nice little finger roll, and one right there. The Aces would be down by one, though, and they're not able to close it out. The big story tonight, Evansville out-rebounded 47-25, and that was the difference. The Aces lose 59-57. Jessica Wimsett wraps it up from Ford Center. Well, much like their game against Kentucky, the Aces battled for a full 40 minutes here tonight against SMU. But unlike their victory over the Cats, the Aces come up short. And Coach McCarty says the biggest reason why was rebounding. Going in, we told them that, guys, these, this team, they score a lot from, from going, going and getting their own rebounds. They average 15 points a game just from second uh, chance points. And so if we keep them off the glass, we win the game. It was that simple. If you keep them off the glass, we win the game. You know, it sucks when you, you tell the team this is what they're going to do, and if they do this, they win. If we stop them from doing this, we win, and we just didn't do it. And um, so they've got to be really disappointed. I understand um, the reason we lost this game, and um, hopefully we grow from it. I think this was a tougher game because uh, uh, they really hit a lot of threes. They, were, they really spent on the floor. Kentucky, we were able to pack in the paint, but this team, we had to, they were great drivers and they were great shooters, so it was hard. And it was just, I guess it was just really long. It's just hard to score. Them. But uh, we'll be back and we'll bounce back next game. We just missed some cues on, on our game plan, but I'd say as a team, we played very well defensively here and there. And we took a lot of charges and we, we were sacrificing for each other. So, you know, we're still, still, it's a long season. You can't, you can't let one loss get you, but I'm definitely going to let it soak in. You got to accept it and then move on the next day. And the Aces will have to reset quickly, but pretty good conditions to do it in. Up next, they're headed to the Bahamas, where they'll take on three games in three days. From Ford Center, Jessica Wimsat, Eyewitness News.